Hey all. Just uh, got a bit of spare time, so I'm going to do a bit of flying. Uh, I'm going to take out, uh, sort some stuff out here. And it's not a bad day today, so I'm going to go over to my little area I normally fly. I uh, thought I might might give the blade a bit of a run. It's got a new, it's got a new um, new battery here, 1300 milliamp battery. So, and it's running. It's running a uh, FlySky receiver, not the Spectrum self-leveling one. So that one, for some reason, this is it here. Got some issues with it, which is a bit disappointing for the considering the price of it. It's not powering on. So I've replaced it. So I'm going to give it a crack with the um, with the uh, FlySky one that I've got in there. So I also thought I might um, I might even bring the trusty Phantom Three, my Phantom Three Advanced. I haven't. <clears throat> haven't had given this a run for a long time great machine it's a great machine never failed never crashed it yet um, it's just been good it's still on its original battery which worries me a bit I'd like to upgrade that but uh, yeah that's it there in its case ready to go and I think I might also I'll bring the Tyrannus I'll bring the Tyrannus because it's needed for the blade and I might even I might even give this little fella here another run it's been having issues I think it's browning out or something some issues happening with it where it's just falling out of the sky so I had to um, clean it up because it fell in some mud last time so I'll give this another go and see how it runs I've tied up some soldering on it um, so we'll see if it still does it Grab the blade. This is a great machine. This is it's good fun. I wouldn't mind another self-leveling unit for it though. So a bit of wind here. It's a nice cool day today. A little bit of wind. That's about it. But other than that, should be shouldn't be too bad. We're in a bit of a sheltered area. Alrighty. So everything's in the car. Put my Phantom on the front seat with the my 250 quad so we'll head up to the little hill up the top here and see how windy it is and how it goes they've just mowed up here so any issues we should shouldn't lose anything so we're here it's a nice day this is a like a development area here I go to so we'll start off we might just um might even just give the phantom a bit of a quick run first to start off just give it a bit of a blowout it's been a while since it's been in the air I like to at least give it a run every now and then to just to keep it keep it alive so to speak all right Phantom 3 advanced is ready to go let's take off It's fighting a little bit of wind here. It's got a headwind at the moment. I'll just let it hover for a little bit and then we'll go for a bit of a fly in the field.
So there we go, that's the uh, Phantom 3. Still runs beautifully, it does. And it's still got 52% battery, that was <coughs> a fairly okay run that was. So she's running really nice at the moment, even in the wind. Beautiful to control. Let's get on to something different. All right, I'll give this a little run. I'm just going to take it pretty, pretty easily. It's got a few things it needs fixing on it still. And um, we'll see if we can do a few flips and that. I'm going to record the footage on the through my um, Ishin goggles. All right, let's get her up in the air. That did the same thing, it just cut out. Oh well, back to the drawing board with that one. These are a great little tool, if you haven't got one, grab one. If you, just as a backup for a low voltage alarm. Come in handy. Okay. Okay, let's get it up in the air and have a go.
Well, that worked well. That was a pretty. There was there was a bit of uh, there was a bit of turbulence up there. I must say, it was a bit of a handful, but not bad for a first run with the new receiver. Low voltage alarms going. Other than that, she goes good. So we're down to what's the battery? Should be 3.7. Three point eight three, okay. Right. Um, I think this one cost me somewhere around three hundred to four hundred Australian dollars. I remember I bought it a couple of years ago. It's fast, it's supposed to do one hundred and sixty Ks an hour. Um, I've had it to one thirty with a bit of weight in it. Um, a GPS and that so it's pretty happy with it but it does come with a self leveling unit so you've got three modes with the Spectrum AS3X that comes with it but like I said that that receiver itself is worth it's worth about 120 Australian dollars with your shipping on top from what I looked at anyway um, I just don't see the point in buying another one of those when most of the time I was flying it, the good thing was with the leveling. The self leveling made it easier if you're not a confident flyer. Uh, but, um, and, the, and it had a launch mode, so you, you can configure your, you can fi figure your switch up here and it would um, self level and, and, and get up to its height that you want it to before you could flick it back into a, another mode. Three modes you got. But how I've got it set now, I've set this switch up to a bit of a launch mode anyway, so when I've got it in launch, which is this toggle switch up, my ailerons have a, a slight degree on them, on the angle. So when I threw it before, it did start lifting. It was a damn handful, I must say, because it's got no self-leveling, so you've got to quickly put your goggles on or get someone to throw it for you. But um, it still goes, she's a fast machine. Better, better day would have been good, less wind. Uh, they do, they do suffer a lot with um, uh, with the, the, the any wind. Ideally, they're they're very twitchy when there's a lot of wind. But anyway, all is good. I'll have to work on the Falcon or the the four the two two hundred and fifty quad. I'll have to work on that because that's still basically a piece of shit. <laughs> I rebuilt that, but it's something's wrong with it. So I don't know. I might even might even fully rebuild it with all new better gear anyway we'll see i don't care too much um, but i'm glad i got this thing going i've got two more two more wings i've still got a maiden yet and i'm just waiting on a couple of little parts everything's so slow from china it's ridiculous so once i get them um, i'll have an fx61 to, to maiden and a zeta or a, a z84 wing so they're both um they've got flight controllers so they're built for long range so that'll be a bit of fun um, Alright, so I might head back home. Thanks for watching and um, stay tuned. See yous.